All right, people, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So now we are using, it's not called the eighth golden new build deck anymore because it is not the AC build deck because, of course, some of us got taken off. So now it's right in Vitamin Y. Now it's now in Vitamin Y's on Saturdays. This is Labradite Ebel. But I still gave it the golden pitcher because I you know, said I was going to do that. So this deck has been working out pretty well on webcam duels. So I'm hoping that it would do the same here on Vitamin Y. So it's pretty much just like webcam duels except no webcam. So, um, for webcam duels, I'm probably going to take a break when it comes to, like, live videos. Uh, just because I, A, don't have any more live videos, like, recorded-wise, like, with my friends and stuff. No one's playing Yu-Gi-Oh! like that. And I don't know what to do for webcam duels, so I might take a break from that. It's one of the first time that I take a break from that. That's something that's really complicated. It's really difficult to do, just because when it comes to real life, I'm just not into Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, literally, uh, if I didn't have this YouTube channel... And I didn't, like, you know, record videos like this. I probably wouldn't even be doing, like, videos like, you know, even be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! like that. So, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult for me to uh, uh, do those videos when, like, none of my friends are really into Yu-Gi-Oh! Nor am I, you know, I just have a whole bunch of just unfinished decks and I just really haven't been playing. And I really don't feel like spending money on Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, there's no locals that's even remotely close to my house that's open, nor do I really want to... I feel like driving to the other side of town to even, you know, go to a locals. He wants to freaking. He wants to gold suck for a foolish. That's, that's foolishness. <laughs> Opening hand's not terrible, it's just not the best. I mean, actually, you know what? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. If it, if it was other decks, maybe we'd be in a little bit of trouble. But just because it is. Uh, uh, Labradite you bell it should be okay because I got Armageddon Knight and a revival card. That's a that's the first turn Leo right there, right there. So, depending on what his background is, I might actually be able to just handle this situation. Let me give Dark Ruffer. I was thinking about another Armageddon Knight, but I'll be okay. So, normal summon effect. You know, this deck being able to you know just pump out Leos. I think I switched to change after Yeah, I put in another Underground Arachnid. Arachnid's really good. You know, it's probably one of the best places this deck can do as well. Besides just Leo. I'm guessing it's fine. So we'll go ahead and send Labradite. Activate Silver Silver's Cry. So, I'll go ahead and revive Labradite. And I will sink 10. Go into that first turn Leo. This deck is really good at going first turn Leo. Like I said, all I need is like, you know, someone to send and a revival card and BAM! There's a Leo. Okay. Can only be, only be targeted main phase two. Wow, you got Gold Sark, Compulse, all the all of the number generated cards. Main phase two. Alright. Ending main phase two. Response. I'll I'll be uh, yep, I'll do this. Good if we were playing like there you go. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, if we were playing like on Death Pro or something, it would have said, you know, your opponent's ending in the main phase two. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go back into my Leo. Yeah. It's been Dragard. That. Dragard lets me target a uh, normal monster with a thousand tackle less, of course, being Labradite, and then summon. Bam, Leo again. Like, Higa. Like, you don't understand. So he gets this foolish next turn. I'm guessing it's fine. It's Labradite. I think 10 again. Like I said, this is Labradite. This deck can do Ultimaya plays, but this deck is Labradite. Here again. Yep. My opponent's playing like an ass ton of back row. Uh, think about sending a level leader. 
Yeah, I'll send a level later because I have Silent Dune, so I can literally revive that I eat a level off, and then snatch up any monster that he uh, he tries to go off with next time. But it really seems like my opponent's just trying to use back row. It really sucks. I don't like getting one up by back row. Get your get your foolish. Blackhorn and shit. Like Blackhorn, really? <laughs> I haven't seen Blackhorn in a cool minute. Well, it stops inherent summons. <laughs> so, whatever you fool, it should reveal what deck you're playing at least. Oh, gimmick puppets. Ain't no bad gimmick puppets play that much back row. Mm. I got that much to do right now. I mean, I could, but I'm gonna take the duel slow. I'm gonna take 300. Go ahead. I mean, that's if I drew another dark, or I like can armor yet tonight or something. I can go ahead and send you bell. Start getting that set up. I could have went Ultimayo. Yeah, I could have just went Ultimayo. I'm an idiot. I literally could have just went Summon Mali, Summon Doom, Summon You, set that. Fucking, yeah, I could have done that. God damn it. I could have went Ultimaya. <laughs> the powerful, the mighty powerful Ultimaya. Mm-hmm. Send back you. Give me a pocket of strings. It's is it string time? Guess my opponent's pushing for an OTK. Strings? It has to be a gimmick puppet, see monster. So grinder, strings. Is there another one? I feel have a feeling that there's another gimmick puppet to see, but I don't I don't know. Leo. Leo, but he can't go into that Leo. Has to be three. So I guess he's just gonna go ahead and go I guess in the strings. No way through through Geki at me. I mean, was my dark graphic really a threat unless you're trying to push for a game or something? Can't. You can't. You can't go into him. Has to be a gimmick puppet sea monster. Your puppet. You can't go into fucking Heliopolis. <laughs> So if you want to go into strings or a grinder or power T, it's probably gonna be strings. Definitely feels like this guy's trying to push your game though. Twilight Joker, it's a big ass scythe. <laughs> He's just holding it in his little hand. <laughs> That's fine. I don't. I'm. I don't running fucking black hole in heaven like you are. No. Yep. Then you got henching it up. That's how I knew. It. I knew it. Mhm. Mm Okay, he's gonna attack me for 33. I'll take it. There's really no point in you throwing that Regeki at me. The number generator is really generous to you. 
Oh, well, Leo ain't gonna do shit right now, but I can go into Leo. So I guess I'll go ahead and activate Silent Doom. Summon Labradite. Level Eater. Oop. Eater effect. And then some level Eater. Sink. Five. Six. I don't know why I keep on wanting to say five. Six. Underground Arachnid. Effect. Give me that. Underground Arachnid is a pretty good card. It's just difficult to get out. You need one. Uh, dark tuner, which is Labradite, and then one non tuner insect type, which is level eater. You know, Scar attacks, then you probably can activate the Scar traps, and then the damage step once per turn, I can target one face up monster my opponent controls and equip it to this card as an equip card, and if the card is destroyed. What do you mean, how? What do you mean by how? Twenty-six. I mean, twenty-six, twenty-four. I can't see. I can end this door. Yeah, on this door. Call haunted. I'm never getting any fag. You bell. You bell. Yeah, you bell. And again. That's it. GG. I win. That's it. GG. Get one more duel. Since this guy missed defeat. Or you can just quit. Let's get one more duel in. I said that, that one card Leo is such a powerful play. You're able to just Leo with one fucking card? Like, I mean. Well, not one fucking card. Sometimes, you know, it's drag art. You know, I drew the Labradite. I mean, it is a card I won in this deck, so... No surprise there. At least I got the Rota, so I can Dark Reffer it up. Curry Bandit. Curry Bandit, Curry Curry Bandit. Curry Bandit, Curry Curry Bandit. What you grabbing back, Soul Charge? Curry bandit, curry curry bandit. <laughs> I'm way too much fun. <laughs> They're going against agents. All right. Griffer. Some you. Fact. Pitch labradite to send you bell. Do I want to send you bell? Yeah, I'll send you bell. Get that 17 in. If it's two, I'll set just the reverse. Just, just, just tip, just tip. <laughs> so you got soul charge, I got soul charge. We both got soul charge. Soul charging it up. Mm -hmm. Add an agent monster, so I guess Venus. Need the build spell to add Hyperion. This is right there. Make sure you show me the Hyperion first before. Would you mix up with Venus? Thank you. No, Jupiter. Oh, okay. <laughs> that that you know, that makes sense. Closer, it's much closer to Hyperion as Carter Jupiter. To get more stupider.
All right. What are you thinking? The think 10? Yeah, Leo. How dare you, Leo? I, Leo! I'm surprised you didn't use Hyperion Effect. For getting rid of him. You had an honest effect there. Oh, Christia. Nega. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I admit defeat. There's no way in fuck I can fucking beat a Christia. Fucking Christia. No, I don't want no fucking rematch. So why? So you could fucking drop another Christia on me? But the fucking Leo, I'm like, all right, Leo, I, I, I could do something with that. No wonder you didn't use Hyperion Effect to pop because you're like, oh, I don't want to drop Christia. Like, I hate Christia. Christia's a fucking asshole. Like, why? And that card's a three, two? Like, I should have known. I thought we were at that. I should have known. I should have known. Fucking Christia. Get one more Dolan. I had a pretty good hand, too. Like, I was like, good luck. And, yo, know, have fun. I'm going to fucking. God damn. Oh, alright, number generator. Yeah, I'm just summon I'll just do the same play I did last duel since I fucking keep drawing fucking Labradorite. Like I mean I get it, it's at one, but yeah. You're terror too. Set the oasis. I could go for Leo. Okay. Call me if you need me. Alright. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go for Leo. First turn Leo's are strong. The only problem is that now all I got is terror in my hand. I hate good luck, have fun, because usually you know. <laughs> the guy's like, good luck, Christia. Fuck you. Like, oh, okay. 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 I see you. I see you, mom. Fucking Christia. Like, damn. <laughs> The Leo, I had that. You know, I had Limit Verse, I'm gonna tear, wipe it, that's cool. Christia, I can't special summon? Like, all this deck does is special summon. <laughs> like, there, there is no other shit. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, I drew Labradorite and Terror, so it's totally cool if you draw Gold Star. Like I said, this number generator is just like crazy. But Christia has three, like Konami, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay, this should be interesting. It should be an interesting duel then. If that's what you're trying to do. I really, if you summon out Viminaga, I will summon out Ultimate Nightmare and I will fucking beat the shit out of you. I mean, I can't kill you, but I will take them life points. So, Yubel versus Viminaga. If it is Viminaga. I mean, there's really no other deck that plays Snake Raiden because this, this card is like a fucking neg like hella. Like, discard a card and this card. So you neg two to send some fucking reptiles to the, from your deck to the graveyard. Like, it's a neg. So that's the only deck I can think of is fucking Vemina Naga that would even run Snake Rain. But you literally just gave away your fucking deck, though. I hope I draw something. More revival is always nice. <laughs> If I draw another piece of revival card, like a spell card, I could go for another. Yeah, I can go summon, guard graffer, pitch, send something, summon, bam, another Leo. Oh, okay. It's like, what the fuck would you summon on attack mode? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Turn up to tell me, you can't order one, you can't constell me. I don't even know what you're planning on doing. Besides, King of the Feral Limbs, to search. The King of the Fair Lamps? Yep. <laughs> Hold on. What's your name? Jenner? Jenner64? Oh, right here. Got the book right here. Fucking turn the pages. Flip through the pages. I'm um, reading you, man. Reading your plays. <laughs> you gonna think, search for King? The Meninian? No, another card. Yeah, right. I was wrong on that one. I was gonna search the King and maybe if you have like a trade in or something, but. Draw. Got another revival card. That's nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack. If I would have activated this during his end phase, I could at least, you know, turn them turn to attack position. That is cool. 
don't even have any melodies yet, so. So when end phase oasis summon, then pitch, send, and then turn it, attack, and then attack. But it's cool. Doesn't seem like I'm much of in a hurry to be winning this deck. I have this deck, this duel. Uh huh. So I guess you can go ahead and send uh, Yagen. And then Yagen will be summoned. Face down defense position. You're not gonna use Yagen effect? Oh, I guess not. Alright. Uh, I don't think I'm activating Oasis. But I have Call of the Haunted. I'll be okay. Another Call of the Haunted, alright. Well, fuck it. I'll activate Call of the Haunted and get more set up. Activate Call of the Haunted, okay. I could actually fucking go for Ultimaya right now. And go summon you, pitch you, send Mally, uh, activate my Oasis, summon back Labradite, Mally, summon Mally, go into that Ultimaya set. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can continue pushing. Yep, go ahead and summon, send, summon, send Mally. Well, we're gonna summon Mally. Uh, we're gonna activate Oasis. Go ahead and summon Labradite. Mally effect. Go ahead and have Mally get banished to summon Ally. Sync 12. Altamaya. Set. Facts. Void Ogre? Void Ogre. Ooh, that was a good play. Leo attack. Ooh, that play gave me the bank. That was a good play. <laughs> With the Void Ogre, the cherry on top too. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> well, you control another. Synchro Monster, this card cannot be targeted. With... Okay. So, next turn, he will get his Snake Ring. That is totally fine. You need to send the king and start doing the play. You know, that deck also runs Limit Reverse. You can go Limit Reverse, summon the king, turn the defense, destroy it, activate, let the snake deity. Who the fuck are you? Cards in the field cannot be returned to the deck. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh. Well, 101, sure. Nigga, you actually think I was gonna fucking negate your snake rain? There's King. One, two, wow. Three. It's like a limit reverse or something. You still have Rise of the Snake DV though. That's the problem. But I don't even have you bell in the graveyard. Oh yeah, I do. I just need to get Terror in the graveyard. Really? 
Fucking ultimate nightmare. That's, that's totally what I fucking need right now. Yeah, if I do touch, I can't even summon the Void Ogre back. Not that I would want to at this point. <sighs> like, Ultimate Nightmare. Like, you wanted Ultimate Nightmare, right? Like, no. No, not at all. <laughs> I guess I'll just have Leo attack, man. There's 2,000 life points left. I wish I could call the hunt the fucking uh, Lord Ogre, but I can't. I wish I didn't draw a fucking Ultimate Nightmare. Anything but Ultimate Nightmare and I'd been chill. Set. Fact. Ah. Uh... I guess bills. Depending on what he's got, I could probably end this duel. Strong is he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Six thousand attack? Holy shit. No. Uh attack. Holy shit, 6,000 motherfucking attack. I hope he doesn't get Rise of the Snake Deity. Go ahead. Holy balls. 6,000 motherfucking attack. Wait, you don't want to attack? If he gets fucking Rise of the Snake Deity, we're going to be in some deep shit. Uh, set. Effect. Level seven race. I'm some scrap dragon. Scrap effect. Target deals. I really don't want to fucking. Oh my god. I'm gonna go scrap effect. Target. Greffer. Target your faith down. And if it isn't Rides the Snake DD, then I will take my Leo, crash it into your Veminaga, main phase two, activate limit reverse, summon back. Yeah, I'll do that. Target, target, Greffer, and your face down. I don't want to destroy him because it might be Rides the Snake DD. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and go with my plan that I had planned before. So you're 6,000 attack, right? Yeah, 6,000 attack. So I'll attack, ram into you, die, main phase two, activate, on reverse, summon back Labradite, level either, either level off, go into Arachnid and give me your monster. Oh damn, this is gonna hurt. So I take, what is that? Is that 29 or 19? My math is not good right now. It's 29, right? 6,000 minus 3,100. 29. Yep, I was right the first time. New phase 2. Activate them. Reverse. Same like Labradite. Level Eater. Effect. Sync 6.
Ooh. Uh, end of that situation pretty well. If I say if I so say myself. Oh my god, I can't even speak. If I say so myself. Wrap effect. Target. Fuck. Target. Zamanaga. Target. Uh. Unin and your face down. Okay. Ain't much I can do right now. Guy's hanging in there. He's like, I am not gonna give up. He's like, never gonna give you up. <laughs> what else do I have in here? I have another Beals. I have a hot red. I don't run two scrap dragons. I already used the other scrap dragon. I don't run two scrap dragons. That is very surprising. I usually run two scrap dragons. Scrap effect. Uh, and your back row. Uh, the limit reverse stays. Okay. Okay. Whoo! Whoo! I was taking that way too cautiously. Yeah. I was thinking about destroying the monster, but even if he would have activated the limit on summon, I would have just went underground reaction, curve it up. <gasps> there we go. That was a pretty good first episode of uh, Labradite Ebel. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Ebel and Zectors. Alright guys, thanks for watching.